Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to put together a quick little video um, on how you could get started digital scrapbooking. Um, I know I've talked about it a couple of times on our channel and um, kind of explained what it was, but if there was anybody out there um, that wanted to try, um, I uh, wanted to just give you guys some tips. So, uh, of course, the first thing you need, since it is digital scrapbooking, um, you need a computer. Um, and then you have to have some type of software that um, either edits photos or um, digital scrapbooking software. There's some out there that are specific for digital scrapbooking but you have to have some type of software to do it um, you can do Google searches but a few of the main ones that a lot of people use are things like paint shop pro um, that is a photo editing software um, that a lot of people use for digital scrapbooking um, you can also use Adobe Photoshop elements um, people use that you can also use a free program called GIMP, um, and that is a free program online. You can find it um, at GIMP.org. Um, and then you can also use Photoshop CC, which is the, the Creative Cloud. Um, it's a subscription-based program for you to use Photoshop. There are also some other options. There, um, like I said, there's some scrapbooking specific software. Um, one of the biggest ones right now is My Memories, um, and it's um, only about 40 bucks. But I do have a coupon code for you guys. If you wanted to try it out, you could get $10 off, um, and then you would get another $10 to spend in the shop to buy supplies um, to make your scrapbook pages. So you would really be getting my memory sweep for only 20 bucks. Um, then I've heard that you can actually do some pretty basic designs on Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, I've never used them to scrapbook my pages, but um, I heard that it can be done. So if you do have Microsoft Word or PowerPoint at home, you could maybe try... Um, out some supplies and see if you could figure it out I know that there's a few tutorials that I found while I was putting together this video on YouTube um, so you may want to YouTube some digital scrapbooking with Microsoft Word or PowerPoint and you may be able to find um, how to figure out how to do it um, the next thing that you'll need is a zip program to unzip the files when you get your products and supplies they are in zip folders so of course you can use like 7-zip WinRAR um, and then Windows has a standard um, unzipper program that you can use and then you need photos lots and lots of photos that's the whole point of scrapbooking is to keep your memories and of course your memories usually are in photo form so if you have digital photos um, you can have photos old photos from your photo albums and scan them into your computer but the photos do need to be on your hard drive somewhere so that you can pull them into the program once you have all of that how do you get started well you have to find supplies um, supplies are in the form of digital scrapbooking kits um, and it will look something like this um, in a digital scrapbooking kit you would get backgrounds and embellishments backgrounds are going to be the full size papers like this which you use for the background of your main design and then you will get embellishments which are going to be all the pretty things that you use to decorate your page so you get things like word art ribbons you can get buttons um, flowers you'll get fun elements that maybe go with the theme of a kit so like if it was a kit for back to school you might have pencils in there or markers or backpacks something fun that matches the theme um, then you also get leaves and frames um, and then there's a lot of other 
embellishments too, um, but those are just some of the few basic ones. Um, how do you find these supplies? Basically, you can go to Google or your search engine, Bing, whatever you use, and just type in digital scrapbooking supplies and sites. Um, and that will bring up an array of places where you can go to buy the products. Um, some of them are even free. Uh, it just depends on what you what you're looking for you would browse through their shops and you'll see thumbnails of all the different products that you um, could imagine basically um, and then if you put in free digital scrapbooking supplies you can find some free different um, kits and products out there that you could get started with if you wanted to give it a try um, without investing a lot of money searches can yield great results for free products um, but keep in mind that sometimes the quality may not be good or the colors may not be what you're looking for um, so the stores are going to give you a better supply of finding the things that you actually want now what I do to make my layouts is I actually use a photo editing software called Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended. Um, I got it before they went to the subscription based module um, but that's what I use and I use that for a couple of reasons. Um, one is of course to be able to, to make the layouts and pages for my albums but it also gives me a lot a lot of options and tools to be able to do um, effects on my photos or editing on my photos and then I also use it for my business to design to do graphic design as well um, and using that program I've made layouts like this one and this one this one in this one so that's just some of the things that you can do um, when you're making a digital scrapbook layout in this one um, what do you do after you make these layouts once you're done well share them on social media put them on Facebook share them on Instagram tweet them send them an email to your friends and family um, if you just want to share them on social media you can do that um, if you just want to email them to people if you just want to look at them at home it's really up to you whatever you decide to do um, but most people print them um, and they print there's a lot of people that print at home um, there's people that use stores like Walmart Walgreens Costco CVS um, and just go there and get their prints done um, which is usually a little bit more economical as far as pricing um, and then there's people that want to get full albums um, and they go to places like Shutterfly or Wink Flash I've used Shutterfly and Wink Flash before for many of my albums um, and I do like their quality and uh, that's it once you print your albums they're in your hand and your memories are available for friends and family to look through um, different things like that but that is uh, about it if you have any questions about this um, yeah just leave me a comment in the um, comment section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and of course always subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the fit slide 5 and my husband's beats peace love and hair grease